Welcome to the Workforce Connection. My name is Rob Mellian. I'm your host. The Workforce Connection is a partnership between Bristol Community College, Fall River Community Television, and the Fall River Area Chamber of Commerce and Industry. We talk about all different issues that relate to the workforce. It is a show for employers, for employees, and for those who want to be employed. Uh, it is also a great show for students, and that's why it's done through Bristol Community College. This is actually our first episode of the Workforce Connection, and we have great guests and a great topic for this first show. I want to welcome John Car uh, Carissimo, who is the director for this new Catch Institute, and we also have Bill Berardi, who is the dean for Business and Information Management at Bristol Community College. So this is, this Catch Institute is big, and I think it's a great first show uh, that we're having here. What, for our listeners and viewers, what is the Catch Institute? Well, the, the Catch Institute is basically uh, an umbrella term that is used for the uh, casino, tourism, hospitality, and uh, culinary arts programs. And basically what we've done is we have incorporated those programs into one institute in order to help to develop the programs, especially the uh, casino and the hospitality programs. The culinary arts program has been around at Bristol Community College since 1985 and it began as a one-year certificate program. And uh, 12, 13 years ago, it became a two-year associate degree program. And since the uh, uh, start of the associate degree program, it developed and currently now, we started off with seven students in 1985, and currently we have something like 110 students in the program. Uh, the casino program, is relatively new, having been formulated about six or seven years ago, and the hospitality programs have been around for a number of years also at the college. However, with the incorporation of the three programs together under one institute, the, the, and which was, by the way, was, uh, was uh, uh, instituted by our president, Jack Spraga, uh, from another institution that he worked at previous to coming to BCC. So the thought is, is that using the model of the culinary arts program, we will be able to grow the number of students uh, in the hospitality programs and in the casino programs. That's really interesting. Uh, it's, I personally, this was my first experience in learning of how all of these various programs uh, being merged together. I, I wouldn't have thought myself about casinos and culinary being blended together or casinos and hospitality but when you do think about it at the macro level it absolutely does make sense uh, can we talk a little bit though about the culinary department because i have to tell you i've i've been in from from your work product <laughs> it is uh, uh it is a superb department at bristol community college and i think a lot of people do uh recognize uh what you do but maybe we should just take a moment to to talk about the culinary department and sure. the programming that goes under there. Sure, within, within the culinary arts program, which is the encompassing umbrella, and that's the name of the degree, Associate of Applied Science in Culinary Arts, we have a culinary arts major and we have a baking and pastry arts major. So a student can come to Bristol and study either strictly culinary arts or baking and pastry arts. Both of our programs encompass a, uh, a number of general education degrees. Uh, and the, again, the purpose of the general education uh, courses within the degree is to make the student an educated student. We, we are not only educating them how to be chefs and pastry chefs, but we also are educating them so that they can make their way in the world. So that's the, the reason for the general education Sounds like courses. it mirrors the workplace. <laughs> it certainly does. And then within the culinary program, there are, there are all the courses you'd expect to find underneath that umbrella. Uh, front of the house courses, which involve table service. One of our most popular courses are uh, table side cooking class, where we have a dinner every year. And limited by the size of the Grady dining room, we can only sell 36 tickets to each seating. And needless to say, those tickets sell out very, I make more enemies with that 
program than anything else. I understand. Uh, and then As CEO of the Chamber of Commerce, I totally understand <laughs> that one. <laughs> yes. And then within the baking program, uh, we mirror a lot of the courses in that we have essential courses and then we have courses within uh, with decorating and, and cakes and pastries and so on. So everything you expect to find within the, uh, the, the walls of a culinary and a baking program. Yeah, well, like I said, I've benefited from your work product. Uh, I had some great meals have come out of that uh, department. And I guess a good question you sort of uh, began answering it, John, is how uh, is this new Catch Institute designed to meet the needs of today's indus industry demands? Well, there, there are a number of things that we're going to attempt to do. We have to understand that the Catch Institute is a brand new concept. So basically what I've been doing this summer is, is laying groundwork. Uh, the culinary is an established program, so my efforts are going to be uh, geared towards modeling the hospitality, modeling the tourism and casino programs on the uh, culinary arts program. And that basically we're gonna, I'm, I'm going to attempt to achieve by obviously going out to the schools. The schools need to be aware of the program. Uh, so this next year we're going to spend uh, with the faculty taking a look at the courses, revising the courses, adding courses that are, uh, that are pertinent to the program, mm -hmm. and bringing, bringing the program up to 2013, 2014. Uh, so my assumption is that this will really begin to take off in the fall of 2014. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to be branding the, uh, now I know that sounds like a harsh concept, but the culinary students are immediately recognizable. You see a culinary student in a uniform, you recognize them. So my goal is to make sure that when you see a hospitality student, you recognize them by the uniform that they're wearing. When you see a casino student, you recognize him or her by the uniform that they're wearing. Sounds and like modeling the workforce. This is, this is going to be to create a cohort uh, among the culinary students, the casino students, and hospitality and tourism students, and develop a, a camaraderie that right now doesn't, doesn't exist. Uh, the other thing we're going to be looking to doing is block scheduling. Right now the casino and hospitality courses are pretty much all over the schedule. So if we block schedule them, that will put them pretty much all in the same classes and traveling through their, their two or three year education This doesn't together. seem like traditional college. This seems well, like... Well, it is this, in a way. But, but it seems a little bit though you're really modeling, I mean I'm listening to you and you're modeling what's happening in the workplace, particularly what's mm -hmm. happening in the region. Uh, with if what's I developing can, in hospitality. If I can just step in here, essentially what John is saying, everything that he talked about is true, but we're also trying to give them a sense of professionalism. They go out into the workforce and this is the way they're going to be dressing and we want them to understand as part of the Catch Institute that they are professionals and they'll start dressing that way uh, before they get into the workforce. So when they do get that job, it, it's something that is natural to them. So let's talk about the uh, the elephant in the room per se. Yeah. What is happening regionally and statewide that is driving the development of the Catch Institute? That's an easy question. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> For, first of all with the, uh, the seriousness of the state in approaching the casino question. Uh, hopefully the casino licenses will be awarded early to mid next year. Uh, previous to that, the, the students didn't see the need for the job in front of them, or didn't see the availability of the job. They would either have to travel to Trin Twin River, Foxwoods, or Atlantic City, or Vegas. Now it would be pretty much within their area. Well, the other thing is the uh, renewed and, and invigorating interest in the southeastern Massachusetts area uh, for hospitality and tourism. So if hospitality and tourism is getting a lot of play from the communities, it's basically free advertisement for us. If the, if the communities are saying we're looking to build hospitality and tourism, and hospitality and tourism grows as a result of that, you're going to need workers for that. And, and everybody within the Catch Institute, there, for every person within that institute, there are positions, whether they are in culinary, baking, hospitality tourism, whether they're in retail, whether they're in computers, so anything like that will well, be... I can tell you that hospitality and tourism is the third largest industrial yep. segment in Massachusetts and growing. And growing. Uh, and it is very much growing here in the South Coast region. I mean, I know this 
without any question uh, being on the uh, uh, CVV board, the uh, center, uh, the uh, center, I should say the convention center bureau. Uh, too many acronyms around here. <laughs> but there are uh, definitely trends that are coming in here, and it sounds like you guys are ahead of the curve. Well, as you know, um, and we've sat on a couple of panels uh, together, the BCC has taken an active role as far as tourism and hospitality are concerned here in the city of Fall River, and New Bedford for that matter, and, and we want to be a partner with the city um, to develop tourism and hospitality and to make Fall River and New Bedford um, known to the people who aren't in this region that there is a jewel here. There are things yeah, there for really people is. to do and to enjoy and to make a vacation out of. So we're on board with that. You know, the sidebar to all this is that I'm talking with a, a, a railroad company that is interested in an Orient Express style trip across the South Coast region. You know, oh. And, you know, they'll be dining, they'll be sleeping, you know, mm -hmm. associated with that too. But, yeah, you know, talking about attractions, car. but talking about, yeah, <laughs> we never know. Kind of anything goes these days. So we're going to come to our first break in a moment here, but before we do, what types of students should be looking at the offerings by the Catch Institute? Basically any type of student. First of all, obviously those students who know or believe that they want to be involved in culinary baking, hospitality, tourism, and casino. But there's a whole host of other areas that will qualify the students to work in these areas and they don't even realize that they are qualified. Let's say for argument's sake if a student has been involved in retailing uh, in, in their high school. Certainly with casinos comes retail outlets. If they've been involved in computer studies for two or three years in high school, there isn't anything that does not use computers that's within the Catch Institute. So my job, our job, is going to be to inform the student of what we have and help them to make the connection as to how they qualify and how they are really preparing themselves to be to, uh, to, to enter these fields. That's well, really interesting. We're going to take a break. Uh, when we come back, we're going to talk a lot more with Bill Brody and Bill. We're going to get you into the, the show <laughs> here because uh, eventually here we're going to talk about casinos and uh, about the casino portion of this because I know that you've, uh, uh, for example, gone before in SERPED and a number of other organizations to talk about the offerings here at Bristol Community College and how you're working with the state to prepare people for this mm -hmm. field. So we are going to take that break and when we come back, there'll be a lot more in the workforce connection with our guests and uh, please stay tuned. Thanks. The mere fact that the class of 2013 is here celebrating our graduation today means we have all done something proactively to ensure that we are able to compete. All commencement is is a fancy word for beginning. You've been enriched by what you've been taught at this place. You're loved by the family and friends who've helped you. This day means so much to me. To me, it means that I know now that I can be successful in college. I can move on to a four-year university from BCC. I can excel here. I can be an honor student. I can be everything that I want to be. My name is Brandi Evans, and I'm from Taunton, Mass. I am completing the general studies degree program, and I also um, got a certificate in paralegal studies and a certificate in global leadership. BCC was my choice because I liked the campus, and then I liked that they had online classes and evening classes, and that I could kind of work around my schedule and still make it through school while I tend to my family. I had a good support system from my family, even my little ones. My family is so excited because they've waited for me to do this and some a non-traditional student. I'm like just pumped about today. Congratulations, you made it! Brandy Evans, magna cum laude and paralegal studies certificate and global leadership. When I started at BCC, my expectations were to come here, go to class and leave, but it didn't work out like that. Actually. I ended up meeting a lot of great people. I ended up joining a lot of programs. I'm going to Roger Williams University from here. 
to study legal studies and we'll see what happens after that. Welcome back to the Workforce Connection. My name is Rob Melian. I'm your host and we have Bill Berardi and John Cresmo and we are talking about the Ketch Institute and uh, in the first segment we were really outlining what the Ketch Institute is and we were talking about the culinary and hospitality side but we haven't spent much time talking about the gaming side of the Ketch Institute and I think the first question is what are some of the gaming programs that you're going to be doing at the Ketch Institute? Well, we, we, we do have a degree program in uh, casino operations and management. Uh, but aside from that, that's going to give the students the, the, the basics and, and how an op uh, a casino operates, loss prevention, um, accounting, marketing, and things of that nature. But as far as gaming itself is concerned, we're going to, um, and we're preparing for um, teaching these students that, that graduate from that program um, the ability to deal two games. Now a game being blackjack or poker, um, roulette, or the craps table. So uh, the student will um, pick what two that they want. So upon graduation, they'll get their certificate, uh, their degree plus a certificate in being able to deal two games. Now essentially what that'll do is they can bring that to a casino and say I've been trained I'd like an interview and then they'll the casino will take them in and give them a, um, a test essentially put them behind a table and see how they do. Well I think it's very good I mean I personally I haven't heard I mean I know that there are trade schools that have done some of this stuff, but I've not seen a community college that actually had a program in uh, casino gaming uh, mixed in with hospitality. Yeah, correct. In, in Bristol Community College is the only college right now that actually has the equipment in order to train these students on, on how to deal. So we won't have to send them anywhere. They can take the labs or take the training right here at Bristol Community College. We have five um, blackjack tables. Uh, we have um, roulette table. We have the craps table. We have the cards. We have the shufflers. We have the dice. We have the sticks. We have the chips. You name it. Whatever you see in a casino, we have. So those uh, labs are going to be set up. And, and uh, we have uh, right now an instructor who um, dealt at Foxwoods for five years, and, and he will be the instructor for them. I think, Bill, you're bringing up a very good, uh, you know, in listening to you, you're bringing up a very good uh, issue. You know, who is teaching some of this coursework? As I say, we do have an yeah. instructor who, is a who was a professional dealer at Foxwoods, and he initially will be training the students that we have. As the programs grow, we're going to need more, and, and he obviously has contacts in the casino industry that he can bring in. There's also a um, dealer institute um, in Attleboro who we're talking with, and they said that they would come when we need additional dealers and assist us in, in that. So we have backup for when the program grows. And that leads to another question I had is, so if you're somebody who's listening to this program in Attleboro or in Taunton, you know, what uh, is going to be offered for them or are they going to be needing to come to the Fall River campus? Well, I think for the big stuff they're probably going to have to come to the Fall River campus. Yeah, right now that's what will happen. Again, as the program grows and we can expand and put labs in, in the other campuses that we have, then we will uh, venture um, to do that as well. Yeah. And, and that also opens up um, the non-credit side. If someone is unemployed and they say, hey, I want to work in a casino and I want to learn how to deal a game, we're also going to open this up on a non-credit side where they can get the number of hours to get a non-credit certificate uh, from us saying, I am ready for you to test me Mr. Casino and um, give me a shot. It's really interesting. So for the companies that are watching the show, how do they partner or how should they be looking to partner with the Catch Institute? 
Well, part of what John is going to be doing along with some of our faculty is getting in touch with um, some of these companies and say, hey, we have these programs. Um, in retail management and, and uh, hospitality and hotel um, motel management, um, some of the courses uh, uh, that we're developing in our in the program are event planning. Many companies need uh, event planners for for their profession. So we have the programs available for them to participate in what we have to offer. That's very interesting. I mean, for example, at the Chamber of Commerce many chambers have a director of events mm -hmm. or sometimes they have two people who work on events together I mean sometimes it's your communications person and it's your events planner but Correct. Uh, you're right a lot of nonprofits for example and a lot of major companies I, mean, I don't know what bank institution doesn't have a, a events person mm -hmm. uh, as well it's very Correct. interesting that you're on this and and you know it, I guess it's the vision you know um, the college saw some of this um, potential and um, um, took the steps to create these programs, maybe a little ahead of the time, but uh, now we are ready to go when some of the other community colleges are, are, are still looking. I have to tell you, I think that's a trend at Bristol Community College. I think, you know, we're talking right now about the uh, Catch Institute, but in an up and coming it, uh, episode of the program, we'll be talking with the folks behind the Workforce Institute, Workforce Education Institute, and talking about you know jumping ahead of time. Uh, you know, I see this all across the board with Bristol Community College. I, it seems like uh, while other people are uh, sitting on what they have, you guys are building infrastructure, and this is infrastructure that looks to be usable for the next 15, 20, 30 years. Mm -hmm. And it's really, it's very impressive to, to observe and to be partnering with you guys. Well, thank you. And I, the, the college has worked hard to, uh, to develop what we what I'm have. saying. You're not sitting on your laurels here. You're, right. you're jumping. We're moving. And with the building of these, I mean, there's multiple institutes that are being established and launched uh, mm -hmm. right now this year. When is the Catch Institute technically online? You want to take that? One? Sure, why not? Uh, this basically what we'll be doing this year is this. We're looking at this as the planning year. So what 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 will be happening is we're looking to get the word out. We're looking to get the uh, the information out on it. We're looking to create a lot of this information also. We're also looking to uh, modify some of the existing programs. We're, we're looking to um, cross pollinate the programs with some some culinary classes within the hospitality, some hospitality courses within the culinary, uh, add some new current courses to the casino program. So this process is gonna take a good solid year. Uh, once that happens, <clears throat> then currently we've got in the works, we've got a planning date for uh, mid-October for a career day, mid-October of uh, 15, 15, 14, mm -hmm. uh, for a career day. So obviously, will be accepting students for the fall of October, but this really will not get rolling until the fall of 16, where we'll be branded, where we'll have our uniforms, where we'll have everything in place. So it is a, it's a lengthy process, okay. but we're doing, we're, we're doing a lot, we're biting off a lot, so it really, we, we want to get said, it right. But that said, I mean, you're talking about the umbrella, but that's, but in saying what you stated, it sounds to me that the programming is there. The, the programming so students is shouldn't there. be just sitting right now thinking, oh, I'm going to hold off until Absolutely next year. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Students, students can be involved, obviously, in the culinary arts program. There'll be some changes made, but nothing major. Within the casino program, within the tourism program, again, there'll be some changes made. But students can certainly jump in, and possibly by the time we're ready, they may be completing their final year. So th the way we work at the college here, if we do change program requirements, the students are grandfathered fathered in in the courses that when they signed up for the program. So it really would not affect the students who come in earlier. So this will only affect new students going forward once the changes are implemented. And John did receive an um, email from a young lady who um, saw the press release that came from um, the um, community colleges. Um, was enrolled at Massasoit and she left Massasoit, she left and, Massasoit came and came here to jump into that, our casino, 
casino program. So the word is out, and we're starting to get. Oh, I I know the word uh, is out. Uh, I'm hearing it on the street every single day. Uh, it's really exciting. How long? typically does it take for a student to earn a degree or a certificate through the Catch Institute programming? I mean, is well, there a, a plan to this? That, mm -hmm. that depends on the student's qualifications when they come in. All of the students are assessment tested in reading, writing, arithmetic, and algebra skills. And those students who need to take developmental courses will basically spend either the first semester or the first two semesters in catching up to speed on their developmental courses which means they'll be here minimum of, uh, of three years. And the average student at BCC takes probably around three, three right. years, three and a half years to get through uh, the majority of the programs. So again, that leads to, you know, if you're interested in getting into the hospitality field or the culinary field, or it really sounds like if you're getting into the hospitality field, you're gonna be getting into the culinary Come now. field. Correct. And the gaming field too, do it now. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I really love the fact that it's all blending together. Yeah. and that somebody, and can we just talk to this, we're at the tail end of the show here, but can you talk about the fact that, uh, or this trend where if you're in the culinary program that you may want to take something that comes out of the, uh, yeah. the casino side of it or the hospitality side of it? Well, I, I think it's very important that uh, today students need more than training in their specific field. They need to have some cross training involved because people change jobs very frequently. People are downsized, businesses close. So if we train the culinary students and we give them some management courses, they're going to be ready to either move up within the culinary field or move over into the management side. It's my firm belief that people in the hospitality business, if they're going to be managing an operation, certainly should have a sanitation certificate so that when they walk around their property, they know what's safe and what is not safe. They should certainly have a certificate in, in mixology that we offer within the culinary so that they know, and how to, they know how to operate a bar and oversee a bar. So there are a number of things within each of the programs that is applicable to each of the other programs. So I, I, I do, I, I think this is remarkable. How do people get in touch with the Catch Institute? Well, we finally got a phone. So we, we have a, a brand new phone and they can call the college number, 508-678-2811, and the new extension is 2284, or they can dial direct, and that would be 774-357-2284, and they'll reach the Catch Institute phone directly. This has been really interesting. I think it's been a great first show for the Workforce Connection. Uh, in the future, you'll be seeing many other shows that are going to be about all different areas. We'll even bring in uh, people who are seeking employment as well uh, and talk about skills uh, that they need in the workforce uh, going forward here. And I want to thank our guests, uh, John and Bill. Thank you so much. This has been really You're interesting. Welcome. Thank you. And I can't wait to hear more from the Catch <laughs> Institute. And thanks for watching. Invite the us workforce. back. We will. Oh, you'll be back on. Uh, we'll talk about success stories. Uh, so thanks for watching the workforce connection.